Well, hello everyone and welcome yourselves back on in to Lonsville. I hope you're all well. I am ready for this raid where we left off and I'm just admiring my absolutely gorgeous town. Now, if you, those of you with avid ears can probably tell that I have a new microphone. I would love some feedback on it because I'm still tweaking it. I hope it sounds okay. And yeah, any and all feedback on that is massively appreciated. All right, let's get straight into this. Let's deal with the raid as it comes in. I reckon this is going to be a pretty fun one. 162. Pretty damn big, right? So, out of fear for most things, I'm going to grab that. I'm also going to go ahead and start flagging out the horsemen because they take a while. Now, they're going to attack from over here, so I might get them ready, like, down here. I've also got my other two horsemen... I think we took them back, so we should be okay. I'm going to flag it over there, and we'll be fine. These guys, I might let come in. We've got um, the other bit because of those towers. They're no longer coming from that direction now, which is interesting. All right, here they come then. So I can see them coming in. They will go straight to this tower, actually, which is nice. We might be able to attack them in the back here. Let's get you to kind of go back in. I don't want any of you kind of fighting, so please do disappear. Same with the hunter. I'm going to try and avoid the deaths where possible. I think I can... There they are. They're, they're running out this way. I reckon I could probably grab those guys and actually put them inside still. I don't know. I might just move the flag just to here for now because they're splitting anyway. So the one tower is going to hit it. I reckon I let them come in. I think they'll come towards this. Oh, the boar's eating them. Always good to see. Go, boar, go. He's actually just killed one, look. Hilarious. Okay. Well, they're pretty spread out on the walls. I think they're pretty much... There's no siege engines, I don't think. They're all coming this way. The boar's killed two already. Oh, we have a battering ram up here. Ah. All right, we may need to rebuild these then. Um, they're not going to do that much damage to them. I'm going to have to grab these horsemen. <laughs> kind of over here. Let's see if we can get them up. They may come in time. They're all the way over there, though, so we'll see. Uh, this tower has started shooting at some as well, which is good. We'll see. And as always, the traders are arriving just as we're being attacked. All right. That was the tower thing going down, wasn't it? Horses, come on. They're all the way over there. Yeah, we're going to lose both these towers. That's fine though. I didn't I didn't get an arrow for the guys coming that way, but that'll be absolutely fine once these guys are in. We've killed six. The boar has is still killing them over here. Yep, the boar has killed that whole lot that are there as well, so they're not gonna come in this way. Right, they're in over here. They're going straight for the market. Wow, look at all those guys just rushing in. So the moment they get up here, we should be good. Horses are in. They've taken down... Is there a trebuchet back here? Flinging? Possibly. Right, horse is going to come in and grab these then, and then we'll pinch them in the back afterwards. That tower has pulled some away. The boar is still chasing them and eating them all. Oh, right, we're good. And this is where the fun begins. We should wipe out loads here anyway, because we've actually got some archers in there now. And there we go. Horse is doing their job. And there we go. I'm going to get that to return straight to barracks now. It has wiped those guys out and we can just watch and enjoy the fun. I don't think they've killed anyone yet. That's good that we're pulling them over. They're going to break in here. I'm going to send the horsemen in. I may even flag this one outside. Actually, it's 74. It's time to flag it. Let's go. And then let's get... To be fair, I should use this one more. So I should go you guys. Rally stance over here as well get them fighting in over here the boar is still going to town on them which is hilarious i don't i don't think they're getting in anyway so we might not even need to fight them here but oh the boar finally died i think our hunter just killed it oh absolutely annihilated and there's just that one more left there as well good job it's a much better defense right and then soldiers going in i'm gonna say good night and put them to bed here there it is good job Nothing else happened. Horses were that slow. You can all go back to the barracks now. All in all, though, a decent attempt on us, but we absolutely annihilated them. So we, we did lose our towers. 
I don't think we lost the soldiers because of it, which is good. And we'll get straight into it. We are in year 83, so just whilst I'm doing this, we'll go over a few of it here. We got a good amount of food on the go. Um, resources are still looking good, and population's almost 730 again. And everything rebuilt perfect. We are looking fab. So, all that in mind then, let's look to this. Right, weapons, armor. So we need some more heavy weapons. I think I can unring that one. We're due to... Yeah, they've all got heavies, so we're good there. There's one light left in there. These guys, we've got just some halberks that will be needed for the archers if we get them. So I may buy those in, actually. A trader did come, didn't he? You got any halberks? No. All right, and we're hardly making any money here, actually. So we probably need to get back on that. Ideally, though, I don't want to sell the baskets for that price either. That's not good. So I'm getting used to this different mic. It's a completely different positioned as well so the, my old one i used to literally have to have my mouth like a millimeter away from it to sound okay whereas this one is actually about four inches away so it feels like it's not there and i'm trying to get used to that <laughs> i'll get used to it this is the first official recording because of that as well so hopefully it's not too bad i have done some testing played it back hopefully it is all right and let's start to speed this up so we've got good amount of food i think we can continue expanding over here and what we want to do is go with a bit more desirability but before that actually yeah desirability maybe a couple more housing so i'm thinking out this way they're quite far but let's get two more there and then we'll start to get a couple more gardens and stuff in so the obvious ones are nice and easy to get which is just the urns right so right there does those two let's grab that in we'll start with just those i'm not going to get too much Low on laborers at the moment. Nah, that's fine. So I think we're still short. Is it four? Yeah, we got four horsemen in this one as well. So, right, there's the raid signal there. They didn't kill a single villager this time. So we did really, really well. And that's all because... Ooh, I just saw that pop up. That's all because we popped the two towers of this end. So we no longer have to deal with them pushing this way without taking any damage. And that just stalls them whilst I get things ready, right? So we should be good. I've noticed that there is a wall piece missing there. And I don't know whether that... Is it actually missing or is it... Oh, it's just a visual thing. It's not actually missing, I don't think. I could always put another door in front just in case. Slope too steep. I think that's causing it. Oh, we can always try and change that. No problem at all. Right, I'm going to hit upgrade on this park now as well. That should do these last houses. So 84 desirability. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's 85 anyway. And then all of these I don't need to worry about anymore. I think that one, oh, 78, so it might help that one as well. There is a little bit more we can do for that one. I'm not sure why that one's so much lower. I think it's because it's not as close to the hospital. But that's no problem. We can also get this marketplace done. The school has finished over here. So the next option, well, we've got some that are going to be upgraded. Uh, do we get another bakery? Let's check resources here and let's actually have a look. We've got so much paper. I'm going to reduce that again. And we probably need to reduce our flax. We're not... It's just stupid the amount we have. And they can't buy it quick enough. So there is no... Yeah, 936. Well, that kind of says it all. Let's get a bakery in. And let's get a nice section over here for it. Does that still reach everything? There. We can get a bit of paving as well then. Yep, let's get a bakery there. And we'll make sure we've got two in the marketplace and also get that upgraded. And that should give a good desirability to bump these guys up now as well. I don't think I'll be walling in this section because I can't see how anything can kind of attack towards this without pathing to something else. There is this little opening here they can walk over, but all of this here is pretty much water all the way along. So odds are they're either going to be up where they were before or over on that left hand side. So that's good. All right. Well, into year 84 then. Everything's looking good. 736 on that population. We only have 89 that are educated, though. Food is still really, really good position, though, as well. I'm very happy. Let's take a look at some of the resources here. So stone is always going to be low. Coal is getting pretty damn low as well. But glassware and sand is looking fab now that we got that set up. So we don't need to worry about that anymore. So with coal, I think it's important that we bump this up again. Now we're making lots of other stuff. Because that's going to hinder a lot of things. And then I'm also going to check. So let's say one on year three. I'm going to deal with flax here. None over there. We've got two years here. So I think this one can go. And then we can get... What do we want here? Another bit of food? Do we go with leeks? 
that's going to reduce that down. Then we got turnips. Fertility's fine. Let's go with leeks again. Pretty sure leeks are good. Yep. Didn't quite realize how good the leeks actually are. Late game. Yep, we're good here. We're keeping fertility down. Uh, weed levels down and fertility up. So we're getting max yield on everything here. I could probably get away with... No, we don't want to... But we, I guess we can get more yield if we put more in. But then we'll be messing with that. Realistically, we should put clay in this field. Yep, that gives us a 10% bonus. So we'll go with clay because that still puts us in with the leaks as well. That's perfect. What is going on here? Oh, it's doing that thing again. Village was raided by one person. Weird. All right, all of this nearly rebuilt. We just need a bit more stone. I've still got eight in there. I'm going to leave that because they should be getting more. At some point, I might just buy it and reduce them down. And I'm going to go ahead and buy all of those in. Keep the pelts coming whenever I can. Uh, look at this. This guy is buying these. What a legend. All right. Because we are pretty low on gold. We won't be, though, by the looks of it after this. So we'll sell that. Another 5k in here. There's beer as well. We're not going to sell. I am going to transfer another load in, though. And then I'll probably get some of these as well. Not maybe... Yeah, I'll just grab them all. 61, no problem. If there's halberks, I'll also grab those, but I don't think we need them at the moment. Maybe for the archers, we flip to some halberks. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get the halberks on the go. And then we can get... How many do we need? One, two, three. So if I... I might bump up about 10 to 15 of those halberks, so we can get archers if we want as well. At the moment, gold is fine, though. Let's see what we're doing down in here. Let's see if they're upgrading. Yep, they are upgrading. A beautiful little square here. This one's going to be really dense, but I am going to put in some paving and stuff when I've got the stone later on. So this is staying empty. I might squeeze a house on the back of that one. Like that. And then leave that gap by the pub for some benches, potentially. And more traders arriving. And it is our favorite one, hopefully. Oh, he has some gold because we bought off him, right? Yep, let's get the rest of that then. Sand, of course you'll bring it now when we don't need it. Candles, I'm not going to sell them to them though. I've just seen they're at a severely reduced rate, so we won't be doing that. We definitely seem to be overproducing flour right now too. So let's go down to one in there. How are my heavy tools doing? we got ten of those, and I think we could reduce paper. Let's go down to four on paper as well. We have way too much, so let's slow it down a little bit. All right, how's our little sand pit doing? I haven't checked in for a while. I still have 12 grabbing in here. Sand is still not the best, right? But this is looking juicy now. I'm very happy with this. Gold, not so much. Well, I say not so much. It's still a plus. I just want to get another full horseman, man, because they're so powerful. I think as this one expands, though, and we start getting some more taxes from them with the population, we should be fine. But we can handle these raids no problem at the moment with the two barracks and the two horse stables, I think. So we'll stay with that as is. Can't remember whether I showed you the library in the last episode. I really, really like that. This whole area just looks beautiful, to be honest. What are your problems? That should be upgrading. That one, not so much. You are, like, surrounded by all things nice and you still won't upgrade. That one just did it, as I said. I think they should be good as well down there. Yeah, 83 there and something on that one. So we need to try and get these last little ones up. The best way is to try and squeeze an urn somewhere. So that one's no problem. We've got urn spots just there, right? I don't think we got any spots over here without destroying the path. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, no, it doesn't reach. Damn it. <laughs> got four urns in a row. It's urn row, we'll call it. <clears throat> I actually want to go ahead and get more trees in as well. So I'm going to get one final one there. I'm just thinking these two here would make sense. And maybe I'm going to leave that blank because it's in the front of there as well. Is there anything we can squeeze in over here? I think we need more trees for sure. I think, yeah, blocking that maybe will be good as well. I'm going to do the, the one other thing. And that's get the barrels in by my towers as well. I love this. By the uh, barracks, you just get some little barrels and stuff. So it looks like it's part of it. I'm going to leave that section because we need it. But like in here, get some barrels. I know you guys can't necessarily see it because I don't show it that much. But I get really excited by these little things. <laughs> it makes me happy. Just by slotting in some barrels. Like by the storage bits. A couple of little barrels. We did just upgrade our last storage over here too. There we go. Just those little extra touches. Let's move over here as well and see how the upgrades are doing with our pathways. Not quite there yet. Let's see if I can reach that last piece. So we'll get those two. And then this bit with the fence is actually looking really good. 
I kind of want to fence this garden bit off here as part of it as well. Maybe just to there. So we went with the iron fence, didn't we? How's our iron looking? Yeah, we're fine on that. So let's grab this. And we're going to hit the iron fence up to there. And then that's going to be the theatre area for this side as well. We have this whole area to do something with if we wanted to as well. But I don't think it's necessary right now. We've got no reach for it anyway. Alright, here we go into year 85. Oh my god, 15 years away from our 100 years. Alright, if you guys didn't know as well, I will be repurposing this whole thing into its own movie for my second channel. Now, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to show it, but if you ever do find the channel, it'll be funny to hear if you do see it. Because I'm, I'm relying, I'm not telling anyone about it, the name of it and stuff really. I did it in one post earlier on. I'm trusting the YouTube algorithm to see who it goes out to. Um, but yeah, I'll be repurposing that with uh, completely separate voiceovers into 100 years of Farthest Frontier. So that should be pretty cool. It's going to take me a long, long time. But yeah, it should be pretty good. I'm quite excited to uh, do it. We've got quite a lot going on there. Look at this. 500 beer. Lots coming in. Uh, I could even start to sell glassware now. If we really wanted to take it one step further on the food, what we could do would be to pickle more stuff. So we get enough veg in. Well, greens. They don't pickle the greens. They do the root veg. But we got loads of it lying about. So if we get another preservist, I think that would be a good idea. So let me check to see what that's going to take to build. Again, another raided thing. Raid size 2, raiders killed 2. I don't know why. But yeah, let me see. So we want preservist building, which is this one down here. I think that's good. Let's do it. I don't think we get enough firewood. I got enough place, uh, enough people in one more to do that though. This doesn't affect desirability either. So if we wanted to... We could well stick it over here. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to pop it over there just to make use of that space. And then I'm going to go in. See what this guy's got. Uh, oh, look at this. You are just beautiful. Okay, some halberts for a cheaper rate. Let's buy eight him. Why not? I can probably stop making those then. We need to get onto the tools once more. So we're still making the heavy weaponry though. So we're not making enough tools, if I'm honest. I might reduce that. Let's move to tools for a minute. Let's see if we can buy in... Uh, worst case is we've got, we haven't got the weapons. So if we lose any, we'll need to flip back to that and make them then. No problem. Should I buy some tools? Maybe. That keeps our efficiency up. Not many then. We'll just, we'll replace some. We can make some gold back here anyway. I'm going to sell all the soap, all the candles, and all the pottery. Nice. You've just made me an absolute mint. And then I'm going to sell all the beer bars, say 45, that'll do. Could probably sell most of that to her as well. Attica of the Iron Clan has all the money that we need. I reckon we might well have the population to get another smelter. And I know you guys are saying about setting the production limits as well. To be fair, that is a good point. I could turn this on and then say production limit of five. So we have one and then five. So they'll make weapons until there's five and then flip two tools. That kind of makes sense. And then the second one, I should probably go on for heavy heavy tools so if we get another blacksmith and we'll welcome those 13 people in look at that 765 so i'm just chilling in here a second i'm gonna get the blacksmith so where the hell are you there it is so we're gonna get another one of these not the worst on desirability but not the best we may need to place this one outside of our walls up here that would still be bad desirability so did we make enough room over here for it Almost. I reckon we can squeeze that in there if we flatten it a bit then. So let's work on that. And when that goes down, I might be able to get in that next blacksmith forge. I'll set a limit on the thingies as well. It's not something I do very often, to be fair, is it? So I should do it more. So like on here, we should have a minimum quota of six. And then we could do the same for shields. But we put a minimum quota of 20. So if we lose any, they come in and do that. And then we'll do the same on the heavies. And then we put up a minimum quota. That was actually a good idea. Let's say there needs to always be four and eight. Actually, we'll say when it gets down to two, they start again. And that means we'll then have lots of people free just to smelt up. And at the moment, we're paused on that anyway. So we'll end up with loads and loads of laborers doing stuff. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's where I was going wrong. Not setting quotas. Uh, you got to remember when I played the Father's Frontier the most, it was pre when you could do quotas, I should probably do the same on paper if you can, which you can. 
So we'll say never go by, below 100 and never go, we'll stop at 500. And then that means I can just ramp up the other stuff or what we make. So I can just keep selling and selling the candles and things like that. And same with candles. I should put them on and then not like that. So we've always got them going with 300. Yeah, that's that's good. Can I do it with flour as well? I can. Oh my god. Right, where are we at with flour? Yeah, we have way too much. We'll say minimum quota of 200. And then we'll stop at 600 on the flour as well. So that'll stop using the heavy tools as much as well. You absolute sensible being you. Thank you for that. It's my first playthrough actually messing about with the quotas. So that's going to help a lot. Look at that. Look at all them laborers. So I can go ahead probably and get loads of building done and stuff now. And it will just happen. And get them to go mine stone. All that jazz. And I'll stop my storages getting so full as well. So what I can probably do is bump this up to 16 for now. And we'll just ramp up getting loads of stone in. And if we want, we could do second layers of walls wherever. I'm not going to do that this playthrough. I don't want to do it. I had complaints in my last playthrough about unrealistic walling, which is fair. I, I get it. I fully, fully get it. So that's fine. And I'm going to go ahead and get more in here. So we've got the bakery finished. So before we go any further, let's go ahead and decorate it. So we're going to want the benches. So we're going to go for some nice ones outside like that. And then we'll have a couple of side-on ones where they're sat together. And as we're out in the forest here, let's get a nice spruce tree in there as well. Not going to help with desirability in any way, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. I am, in fact, going to get one of these in, though, where I can. I don't think I can put it there. But we can get one at the back here across these two. And then I'm going to get the other garden. That needs to be paved. I need to go that way. And then I need to pave the schooling area as well. So I'm going to go for this one. Because that will actually increase desirability as well. And then we'll work on that a little bit more when it goes up. Uh, can I fit? Right, we're getting pretty full. <laughs> Population is growing crazy amounts. So pickling second pickling station is actually a good idea. So we'll get you in. I think we can fit all the way down here now. I'm also going to go with you, you, and you. Got a nice big circle to fit them in anyway. And we'll get that going. This will easily take us up to a thousand. All right, traders back in. Let's start loading up and making some a dollar here. So, so far, we're pretty good, actually. We've got plenty here. What can we buy? So, they have... I don't need to get them, do I? I'm going to hold fire on that. We also don't need anything else from this trader. But I can make a bit, a bit of money. Uh, not as often we can sell the baskets, so let's get those gone. And then I'll sell the rest, but it doesn't have a lot of money. So, there we go. We'll sell that. We are looking juicy on the money front once more. And let's see if my flattening has done enough for me to be able to get in my blacksmith forge now. I can see how close that is to being done. So a couple more and we should be good. And let's check in on the next merchant as well. So you've got no gold left. You have though. A reduced rate on those. We don't need the beer. Don't need anything really. I'm just in a good place, you know. It's quite nice. It's a nice place to be. I actually think because we've got quotas on the paper and stuff as well, they're not going to be doing it for a while. We could probably get away with not having so much flax once more. So we've got a flax field there. Any more for the year? Leaks. Hmm. I need to get rid of that. Let's swap that for a turnip. Double turnip. There's a flax there. No flax there. No flax there. Okay. We, we should be fine then. We're just getting a big yield on them, I think. All right, last lot coming in for that one with the bricks as well. And let's go back over here. They should be close to flattening. I'm going to get ready with my blacksmith forge. Okay, they're all paused. Look as well. Look at this. It's great. What a good place to be. I need to do it on glassware too. And then I can actually ramp up furniture. And that's going to bring in more money. No, oh, it's just you just made the game easy mode for me. That still didn't do enough, did it? No, it's still not enough. Oh, hold on. I just watched it move. Hey, <laughs> there we go. Let's get it in. All right, how are we looking here? Coal and iron are coming in nicely now. We have so much wax. All right, let's also get another furniture shop. So, we need, again, it's going to be somewhere else. This can go anywhere in the housing places. This is going to be... There it is, the furniture workshop. So, yeah, once again, it's a pretty big one, but it doesn't have bad desirability. So, we can get this over here as well. We'd have to knock out some of our trees, though, I think. We'll move that rat catcher. I don't want to do that. All right, let's go a bit, a bit rougher into this terrain, then. 
that's going to be what we have to do i think if i go like this i reckon i can bring that down i'm just going to go straight hitting this about three or four times and another eight people arrive we're going to hit 800 population here i think i'm just too good at this now you know <laughs> I'm just going to take a second now and grab in another cav as well. So we're back up to 10. And slowly going up, I'm going to get another Lancer. That makes six. Oh, we've almost got the two full ones. So 16 of those. It'd be interesting to see how good they are on their own, wouldn't it? Right, I think this is going to do the trick right here. It's messing with... Yeah, there it is. Get it down before it breaks. And lovely. That kind of makes this look a little bit better too. That road is a little bit steep. They're still getting up it though, I think. <laughs> Let's try and fix that just in case. I'm going to leave that one because they're still getting up. It's just a horribly... Wow, seven and two more as well. Seven away from 800, guys. I have thoroughly enjoyed this, this run through here, guys. It is so good. Okay. Have they flipped to the heavy tools now? No, because I didn't even turn them on. Right, I'm going to go with four and eight here. I'll get them kind of doing that, but the second one will also do the same. So this one will need to be upgraded. I'm going to turn that one off. And we've got the quota anyway. Um, and then quota for tools, we want a minimum of 100 and let's say 300. So they're always doing it. We've got the population to do that anyway. And then I'll get that one upgraded and go from there. So I'm seeing that we're down to quite a few lack of heavy tools here. And then plenty of people to put in the furniture shop as well. And that also means the planks. Take a look at both our sawmills here. All right, 10350. So we have a quota on that as well. Nice really desperately trying to re-flatten this area out i really want to just get an urn in there to get this last house upgraded over here but i just can't no matter what i do here the flatten just doesn't work i've tried multiple times now and yeah it just doesn't want to do it it's really really strange and i think it has something to do with all the walls and stuff being there because everywhere else is flattening nicely it's just there that road looks more healthy now as well <laughs> this is starting to look so nice over here but 87 years in guys and population, four more to that 800. We should see that in a moment. Come on. Yeah, see, it doesn't move. Everything else moves. This bit doesn't. <laughs> really weird. Oh, well. Might just have to accept that that house is not upgrading. It's like the stubborn one that they build the motorways around, you know? You know the ones. There's always one in every country where they have to build a motorway around because they refused about 10 million deal for their land. <laughs> to the uh, developers, which I find hilarious and it's great. But yeah, there's always that one, right? All right, let's take a look over here once more then. So those gardens going in. Desirability is slowly creeping up over here, which is really nice. I do want to be able to upgrade them. Those benches going in look nice. Right, let's figure this one out. So I think one of you, you can't fit there. We, where I put that tree would probably be better place for this one urn, actually. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's take a look and see if we can do something for these guys. We can. And then maybe a park of some kind. So we want that a little bit further out. Uh, let me figure this out. Or festival pole over here could be good. Right, we're going to want a large park. So we want it to hit all of this area. That would do just fine. That will do fine. But I don't think it's going to be good enough. Because when we build a little bit further down... In theory, down here would be better. Park by the fishing lakes. We could do one either side. Let's go there. Traveling merchants here as well. And it's Silver Tongue. Hello, Silver Tongue. Let's sell you some beer. Right, I'll transfer a bit of that in. And look at that. Spices at a reduced rate. So I'm going to go ahead and buy 138 more in. So that leaves us with a stupidly good amount. Sand we don't need. We don't need any of this. The one medicine maker is always enough for your town as well, which is nice. So I'll try and make a bit of money from this. And then I'm hoping we can ramp up the furniture production. That should make our overall gold income a lot better. Oh, hello. You have 12 months left to pay 1,693 attack. Oh, they have a slinger. I have just the thing. Horseman. Actually, I'm just going to use this one here. And I'm going to flag. So I think they're going to come straight to us. Let's go over here. Let's just get them out. Maybe. Let's slow it down a little bit. Let's ring the bell. These guys are a little bit different. They were angry ones and they were allowing us to wait before the attack as well. I don't know if I want these out before. There's wolves killing this these raiders off over here, which is funny. Uh, there it is. So we've got the perfect thing. Where are those horsemen going? Oh god, they're running straight out. Hopefully they avoid it. Yep, they should be missing it. Yep, we're good. Okay, towers. 
might end up drawing them away, but we want to be able to grab these guys as quick as possible on this. That should be fine. Not quite sure what they're shooting there. I've got horses, like, disappeared. Here we go. Up the hill they go. All the raiders, they obviously can't see them up in the mountains, and we're going to destroy. Getting pretty laggy right now. <laughs> Won't lie to you. That is 184 raiders, so that is goodbye to you. Let's go say goodbye to that one. And I'm going to let the tower actually do its thing over here. The trader just casually walking in as they're being attacked. Uh, they're spread out. Oh, they're coming from a different direction too. Let's take a look. Oh my god, there's a big one there too. So rather than going through the towers, they decided to move away, which is great. So that worked pretty well. They're either going to come here. I want them to come here and then they'll get shot. But we do need to be careful here. So horsemen did their job. I'm going to return to barracks, but I'm actually going to grab them. And I'm going to send them in down the back. This tower's going to go down, but it should hold a little bit. And it'll do... Yeah, it's sending quite a few packing, which is nice. So I may even bring these horsemen in into the back if a lot of these kind of leave us alone. I'm, I'm going to ignore the villagers dying for a second. And I may even send these in. Let's send them in. See how they perform against this. I think they should be fine. These aren't the big boys, are they? If we want the one with the axe first. What's being killed? Oh, they're killing the hunters, I think. Okay, here they go. Look at them go. They absolutely just obliterate them. This tower will live. Very nice. And all of these just got absolutely... Where is everyone else? There's no way we killed them all that quick. They must have been weak. They were really weak. Go get these. Yep. No way that that just got absolutely annihilated. So we got another load over here then. Should we grab our horsemen? Yes, grab our horsemen. Let's rally them over. Look at that. One away from 800 as well. I can't get over how powerful they are. I guess that they are only the small raiders because we just absolutely annihilated them like a little bit too quick. And we still are now, to be fair. That one tower is just ripping through them, look. The hunter just casually shooting from the background there as well. Oh, they're not even going to get through this door. Come on, you guys need to come here. I'm going to go to 2x. I'm pretty sure most of these are going to die. Yep. And there's the horseman. Right, let's, uh, let's move that flag. Let's send them in. Save the gate. Rohirrim for the Empire. There they go. Oh, my God. They are so good. Look at them just stabbing away. There we go. I can see these at least. So they're all stood there. Oh, my God. I've gone to half speed, so you can kind of just... Let's go one x. You can watch them just get all absolutely sliced down. Save the gate. Save the gate. There's like a random hunter trying to kill them there and surviving as well. You're not allowed to pop it. All right. Very, very good. So they did kill some villagers, but it was just our hunters over this side. So that's fine. We got a little bit to rebuild. We did a great job there. I think we missed our trader, unfortunately, but that's fine. Oh, no, we got one here. Perfect. And the beer is going in. So let's get that one going. Let's see if there's anything we can buy from them. Uh, the answer is no. We can sell the beer, though. So I'll hopefully sell that when it gets popped up. Let's have a look here, then. So we've got all our stuff. Heavies going in. How are our soldiers? I don't think we lost a single thing, then. Look at this veterancy. I still don't know what veterancy does, guys. You have to let me know on that one. But that is cool. Oh, man. <laughs> I love it. Have we got enough room for more horses? So there we have. Let's do it. We're getting both. Boom. There we go. We're going for 8 of 8 times 2. We're going to have just horse galore. That is just epic. That excited me a little bit too much. I love the little scale battles. It's so fun. Right, let's get some of these upgraded. Then we may as well make use of the uh, the little area that we do have. I'll also upgrade both of these. And I'm fairly certain now, once that big park is in, we're going to be... These are going to boom. So it should be pretty good. Got room for 858 anyway. 
And there it is. Village Raiders. They killed five villagers, unfortunately, but that's okay. Let's go over to the merchant. And there's the beer that we wanted to sell. Perfect. And what have you got for me? Have you got anything spicy at all? I may even buy some of your bricks, actually. We've got a bit of work to do. Let's buy a few of those in. I don't know if there's anything we can sell. All right, baskets are in. Boom. All right, we don't have that much gold now. We've got just under 5k sitting in. Uh, we should be okay. How's our next furniture one doing? All right, let's ramp this up. So I'm going to max this out. And we're going to set a minimum of 10. Maximum 100. They're not going to hit that anyway. It's more just so if it goes under it. So monthly change is only plus two at the moment. Um, so with getting these in, we should now start to see a surplus. And in a couple of years, we'll have plenty to kind of sell. It'll boost our income across the board here, I think. So right, let's have a look through our market squares real quick and see if anything needs changing to be sold here. I might turn books back on then. This is how we're going to bring the money side of things back up. Everything's good in there. And not bringing any spices over here because they're not needed. Same with the furniture until tier 3. But we're getting the tier 2s here, so that's going to be more tax anyway. And there's the 800. Beautiful stuff. The perfect time to end it out, guys. If you could just smash the thumbs up for me, that is a massive help. And subscribe if you aren't already. Also, give me a bit of feedback on the mic. I am going to be trying to tweak it over the coming videos, so I really appreciate your feedback on that as well. And if you want to be named after anything in-game, please do consider becoming a member on the channel. It supports me massively and helps me continue to do what I do. As always, guys, have a great day. I'll see you soon. I see all the soldiers getting drunk again. Bye-bye.